Playing against uh, Nakamura, Rajabov or Kawana is fun. And uh, this is what you could do back in the days in the, in the uh, late uh, zeros uh, on ICC, where they also played in the five-minute category. And I had, I had uh, a lot of games against uh, Ratabov and Karana and, and Nagamura and players like that. And um, and I prepared a little bit for them. And, and one day it was kind of funny because I met uh, Nagamura twice in the same opening and um, and he ended up getting a little bit upset so let's see the game i'm black and uh, his uh, handle was uh, small will and mine was drain you and i don't think uh, nakamura plays on uh, icc anymore and also he's a big star now on, on chess.com and doing very well and i don't think he would be upset today but uh, that was uh, then and he played uh, B3, which uh, in Dan Danish is, is known as Larsen's opening. Uh, but the most famous game he played uh, with this opening was against Spassky in the uh, USSR versus the World match, where he lost horribly. So that maybe maybe we should just call it something else. Uh, these days it's uh, Jobava who's playing this, but it's also played a lot in Blitz. It's not a bad move. Um, I, I decided to, to play uh, a serious opening against it. I used to just play D5 and Bishop D4, but I think... You, you should try and punish B3 uh, by taking the center. So I'm trying to... Uh, I, and, and this people don't do anymore because uh, white get too much uh, initiative. Uh, so so we, But in, in 2009, this was uh, still the main line. And, um, and here F4, which is, uh, is the funny move. And uh, I played Queen H4. I played this... Uh, this was the main line. And... Um, and I think now white white is 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 supposed to be better after d3. Also, instead of f4, white can go c4, which can be a little bit annoying. But Nakamura had got into his head that um, in this position his move should be king f1. So he played this three times against me, and I thought this this simply can't be be, be good. Uh, in this position, I just went back, uh, but later on I improved, and uh, this is is where the story gets funny. Uh, I went back. This is uh, in, played in the five-minute category, and uh, and and that means that that it's it's five minutes for the whole game. There's no increment, but five minutes is a lot for blitz. For instance, something like Title Tuesday is three plus one, which is a faster time control. And here's White's idea. Uh, of course, his king is bad in this position uh, here, and but but he has uh, some pressure on this diagonal and. Uh, there is a check out here, which we should uh, notice. So if uh, the queen can come out here, it will give a check. That means he can actually take e5. I need to uh, take back, check. And here I found, I found an interesting idea. Uh, I usually would take back, but then, then we get opposite colored bishops and we get to exchange queens. And that's not what I want. I would not like to exchange queens here. So instead I played king d8. Also using the fact that his king is on f1, so I always have a check on on the f file here. And uh, he played d4, which is uh, I suppose uh, blocks uh, anything. But after this, black is is is, is better here, and um, and I think I went on to win a pretty good game. He went for for this and. The question is, with uh, opposite colored bishop, the big question is who's going to attack? If, if At the moment, it seems that blacks uh, and whites bishops are both good. But, of course, black can attack this, this pawn. But if white can defend it, then maybe uh, this bishop, you can play around it. And this is what you can do with, with opposite colored bishops because they're colorblind. I had to get my king out. Uh, oh, and I'll remember, he made a big blunder later. And check. Oops, g4. And that's that's a bit aggressive. But he wants to get into the attack. And now he got his uh, rook into the game. Oops, I keep doing that. And this was a blitz game, and where you and we, we I think this uh, pre-move thing was was pretty new. Uh, White is of course fine here. Uh, he's 
positions more or less uh, equal. Uh, but he played this move and then he's not fine anymore. <laughs> so and then of course this uh, this I, I managed to win. Um, so let's go on to the next game. I think he got a little bit upset. The thing is with the five minutes categories, you cannot choose your opponent on ICC. You can you can ask for a revenge match in uh, in for instance uh, Liches or Chess.com, but not on ICC. Where uh, if 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 you lose, you just sign up for the pool again and hope to to play the, the same opponent if you want to play uh, the same opponent and usually you you do um but anyway i i was i was still playing uh, blitz and um and and we get on to the next game um and he's white again uh, i think it's some algorithm to, that decides who's get to to play and we have all the same moves here And here I played f6 because I decided, ah, if I keep my queen out here, there will be no check on h5. Um, and this moves kind of upset uh, Nagamura, which we will see uh, later. Um, because he, he said something after to me after this game. Knight f3. And, and here, of course, uh, White's position is uh, is not so good because of this. King is weak and this pawn is weak and and black's king is also weak but when he castle he will get the rook into the f file so and i i'm not trying to i could uh, look for for something immediately here but it's it's easier just to um, to say okay i i have a good french structure i've already landed him a weakness on on e3 so why not just develop and um, next move will be in castle check if allowed and and that's good for me and here comes check and of course we can see now that white's opening has been a total disaster um, there's uh, the only things the problem is is this the pawn here and i decided just to play positionally so he cannot even take so i, I get rid of the pawn and my bishop will become very strong too And here I just did like something like this. Uh, I'm not sure I played super super uh, optimal here, but it's a blitz game. And and I must admit uh, Nakamura is a much better player than me, especially in blitz, but but in also in general. So it's not it's not. Uh, I'm just trying to to play fast uh, moves uh, quickly. This was the idea behind. Um, and he's trying to to create a pass pawn. This is uh, typical for strong players. They always have an idea when they play something. But uh, it's black who's attacking, and the opposite colored bishops is is again at, on the board, and it's for black advantage this time. Black, white's bishop may be good, but there is a problem when when black gets out, um, the king will be be stuck. And here this, uh, and I don't know what I played h5, uh, just getting uh, some air for the king. And I decided, okay, d3. Oops. And here I realized, oops, there's a problem if he gets a check. g5. Um, and his queen is actually more or less trapped. Because uh, if he moves it to uh, to the f file, I'll play bishop queen a5 and and give a check a take on h3. So he's losing here, um, and he decided to do this, and and it's it doesn't work. Um, I of course have to be careful. Avoiding all counter play is a good idea if you is if possible against strong players. Just uh, keeping your sort of structure together. Anyway, and this is what I'm I'm trying to do, to do. And then uh, of course you have to to start attacking at some point. Oops. And and it's a checkmate. And uh, after that he he, uh, he chatted to me that he was um, he wrote in the chat that 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 it was ridiculous to <laughs> to prepare for a blitz game. But I can tell him that if uh, and I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, but, but but of course he would never have written anything if it was not because he was upset with the game. So that's that was uh, that was fun. I'm not the best loser myself, so I have great understanding for being upset when you lose. This is I think very normal. Um, anyway, uh, the next day, 
We are, I was still in the five minute category and uh, maybe he was waiting for me. I don't know. Uh, because uh, we met again. It's one more time. Small will versus drain you. And, uh, and he, he's a stubborn guy. So B3. And I saw no reason to change the opening because it seemed um, kind of good for me. And uh, here we last time he played D4, which was obviously not a good move. Uh, this time he went with C4. But that's maybe I, I believe this position is simply uh, good for for black. Uh, the king on on f1 is 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 such a, a big factor in in the position. And, and oh, of course white white can probably win a pawn or, or something. Uh, but uh, maybe on on d4 I don't think he actually can win on pawn d4. I'll just give a check on f6. Um, and and there is something hanging on a1 in the end. Um, some like this, and I give check and here and Bing and losing that. So, so uh, this position it must be better for Black. I, I, I'll just move the knight and then our castle and and the uh, this this F file is disaster for Black for White um, all the way down here, and also I have um, great bishops pointing this way. And knights are coming, and I have a, a center, and so on. So I just think black is better. C4, he played. I took it. Um, in, in general, uh, when his king is is weak on f1, I want to to play for the attack. And he decided to uh, to play more um, dynamically this time. But I still say, okay, I don't care. Uh, okay, there's maybe I should should get rid of that bishop, a6. And, and black is, is much better here. And I get to castle. Just to get it out of the way. And black has a huge advantage here. Knight is coming to d3. And the f file is again a big problem. I could have played rook f2, but I wanted more uh, already. But okay, I'll take the exchange. And um, and this position, um, I lost after 98 moves on time, uh, and I think I was uh, I was winning the whole game. But um, but he's a faster player, and as I said, it was a five minute game. Anyway, this was uh, this, I think this was one of the last times I played against uh, Nakamura. Then he moved on to to play on uh, on Chess.com and. Um, and of course, it's, it's probably the best blitz player in the world, but it was fun while it lasted. Um, so, a, a good old story. It's 12 years ago, almost today. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe if you like uh, GM Talks. We uh, would like to get some reinforcement that we are doing the right thing. Thank you.